the weather in the Alps is changing for sure. Over the years, it's been becoming more extreme. Last summer, we had a big rock slide in the area. In a country like Holland, there are so many things happening and it's not only sea level rise. Yeah, it's been a really difficult start to the year for Australia and certainly South Australia. We had two major bushfires. I wasn't a, a directly affected by the bushfires, but I know the area that I live in, it's very vulnerable also. Australia is fueled by the fact that it is a hot and dry country. Like that's just plays such a massive part in it. But to accept that this is the way we're going to continue to live, it's just, it's terrifying. Am I worried? Yes, I am. Especially having two young kids, sort of thinking about what future and what world we're going to be handing over. As a mountain biker, you get to places that are so beautiful, wild and stunning that it's I think it's super important that we make sure we leave the, the place as we came and uh, don't leave any traces. One thing that we know from climate change is that vulnerability is way more than just where you live. It's connected to your social vulnerability, to your uh, access to resources. And so actually, if we can come at this as how can we reduce vulnerability, not how can we prepare for a flood or how can we prepare for a heat wave, but how can we make people and communities less vulnerable? I think we have a lot of opportunity and, and a wonderful catalyst to make big changes. Um, but I, I, I hope that we have the courage to make them. <laughs> <laughs>